AOY Salt is a four-month Bible training program that started as a follow-up to the AOY conference. Over the past eight years, we have had 400 individuals come through SALT, both in person and online. In 2021, because of the pandemic and lockdown, our school was greatly affected. However, we saw God's hand leading, and as we look back, we can count all the blessings we did not expect to receive. Firstly, the Lord led us to have online Zoom classes from January to March this year. Classes were held in the evening for working adults who are normally unable to take time off work to join full-time. Many of these were mothers who otherwise would not have been able to leave their homes and children to attend SALT physically. From these online classes, we saw pockets of revival in local churches all around Malaysia and even all around the world. We saw the start of church prayer groups, care groups and more teaching in Sabbath school. We knew, however, that the experience of SALT online classes is nowhere near to the in-person experience of the full SALT program. In faith, when Malaysia allowed all schools to reopen, SALT decided to reopen its four-month Bible training school as well. A small class of seven full-time students and two part-time students signed up. A few weeks after SALT started, we saw a sudden increase in COVID cases in Malaysia. Schools closed again. And shortly after, Malaysia went into a third lockdown. Thankfully, however, this year, God led us in such a way that the classroom, the male and female accommodations, the deans and the teachers were all in the same condominium. God saw into the future for us and the lockdown barely affected the students. This class of 2021 will finish their four-month training program soon in September. What happens after they are done, you may ask? Ellen White says in Review and Herald, April 28, 1896, paragraph 7, We need men well-trained, well-educated to work in the interests of the churches. Students are given the opportunity to test their calling for the ministry and get further trained in the mission field by giving up one year of their life for Bible work. Let's take a look at what the Bible workers from last year have been doing. These are the students from AOI SALT, Class of 2020. From the Class of 2020, eight students stayed back after SALT for further field training as Bible workers. The Bible workers were assigned to three teams. Each team was assigned a different area and ministry. The first team was assigned to a campus ministry in a local university here in KL. Through a student club, we ran health talks, care groups, exercise groups, and even set up welfare and counseling for students who were heavily affected during the pandemic. In just a few short months, we saw the health message and gospel work hand in hand. Students who were on the brink of suicide decided to turn to God and have Bible studies. We even had a handful of students decide to commit their lives to Christ during this time. To top it all off, the university opened their doors wide supporting and promoting every event to their students. The second team was assigned to a poor, low-income area in KL. Many of these residents were not even able to afford basic health care. God saw this opportunity, and so with the right arm of the gospel, we brought the health message and affordable natural remedies to these communities. Many of these residents allowed us to visit their homes regularly and the team brought Bibles and the Gospel together with the natural home remedies and groceries. The residents could not get enough, and soon the team was receiving calls during the lockdown, asking them when they would be able to return and visit them in the homes again. The third team was assigned to a rich and affluent area in KL. The aim of this third team was to plant a church in this area. Once again, we found the health message being the opening wedge to the community. This time, we found that networking, branding, and trust was more important as free health talks and welfare were not the needs of this neighborhood. Again, we met individuals who were searching for the meaning of life and God. We praise God for the many miracles that have been happening with the Bible workers. With such a big team, management, and accountability, 
was challenging. Two key ingredients were needed to push the work forward, far and wide. The first ingredient was to our devotional lives. We required all team members to spend two hours in devotion and prayer every morning, challenging the Bible workers to experience the power of a transformed life. Sure enough, we found that power through the Holy Spirit and our relationship with God instead of how hard we worked and how many events we held. The second ingredient was united prayer. Following a sermon by Pastor David Chin, our churches decided to come together at 6 a.m. every Sunday morning to pray for individuals in the church by name. The church united in prayer for two hours every week. And slowly but surely, we saw people we prayed for being converted and giving their lives for God. The COVID-19 pandemic has not just been a challenge for the gospel work, but it's also been a wake-up call for many of us who slumber in these last days. It is one of the biggest worldwide signs, testifying of the pestilences prophesied to come true in Matthew 24. There will only be more, friends. Salt exists to prepare an army of youth to stand in the last days, to teach the young people and the laity to be soul-winning evangelists in whatever profession they're called to do, and to be leaders in their churches as well. Granted, not all of our SALT students are young in age, and not all are called to be full-time workers in the vineyard. But certainly, God calls each of us to be His witnesses and to be a SALT and a light to this world. This is where SALT can be a blessing to each of you, even if that is just to strengthen your walk with Jesus and to have a more intimate knowledge of His Word. I know for a fact that God is calling each and every one of you. Do you feel the need to be trained? Do you see your place in the gospel ministry? Do you need to get away and take a break from the rush of this world? For many are called, but few are chosen. My prayer for each of you, friends, today is that you will heed the voice of the Master's call in your life. Luke 10.2 the harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest would send forth laborers into his harvest.